Hello and welcome to Town Hawk here. And I am bringing you uh, some Vikings. Uh, a brief general overview of the Vikings. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video or somebody else's. Is that instead of having a, a talents that are just naturally unlocked. Ten seconds. You, uh, just have control oh, of each now? of the Vikings, and each Viking Five, has its own four, little three, two, uh, niche one. about them that makes them special. Fight. One is Olaf. He is a tank. He has more health and faster health regeneration out of combat. Two is Balof, and he has an AOE. Uh, effect that he does to uh, anything behind his primary target. And Eric is the number three. And he has increased and increased movement speed. Of course you need me. Ooh, we, got, we got some stuff down in here. So this build has worked very well for me. In fact, I haven't lost the game yet. So, my primary focus of this build, I don't really quite have any for yet. A good effort. I took out my Olaf. Uh, like I said, I don't have a name for it. And, wow, this team is really, really on top of uh, and, uh, uh, like but it's similar, it's a similar concept to my. Asmodon build, where I am primarily going to be focused on map, pres map pressure. Not presence, but pressure. Well, that's kind of the same thing, but kind of not. So. Get here. And there, and we. And for the tier one, we went for Regeneration Master. I'm really up in arms about it a little bit. Uh, I basically go for... I'm basically going for... Uh, ability to take Merc Camps. And for level two, I went for uh, Eric's basic attack destroys five ammo, it's like a damage over time. So as you can see, oops, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna hit this tower. And see that tower lost losing ammo over time. Push this creep back. I don't know if this is Still have to do about me. Okay.
so yes, I am going for a map pressure build. So basically what I like to do, I like to try to get Eric someplace where he can pretty much sabotage the enemy's towers. And uh, while uh, Olaf and Baloff uh, Welcome back, heroes. Our hammer is pushing more than I am. Bring me through the food. Got donuts for all of So, pretty much my build is always the same. Like I said, I have a little information on my first two talents are. Okay, this way, so the NBA we going down. Eric is down. Try to count as the best as possible. Uh, it's the first time I have been on a map with hammer, but they are effective. Uh, cards, to say the least. Back out of here, Bailock has died. Now, since I picked up the longboat raid, uh, which heroic ability I get depends on uh, what the map is. On maps that have center focusing objectives, like this one, uh, I will go for uh, the longboat raid because it does a good amount of damage. Out of here. Get out of here. They are going to do that. In this lane. Huh, what now? And now we're here. Back him that way. What's the plan? And let's go down right here. Away. Yes, we got this person there. Camp new problem. Okay, we are going to go here. here. What's the plan? 
this merc camp or help get it at least. Talent? Ah, that seems generous. And I'm gonna go with Viking Team of Shield. This is one that I normally get. North by north wind. Ooh, wait, uh, let's go down here. Night persistence is legendary. Mercenary camp. I hear you. Do that. Really hard to commentate, and uh, do this also. There is a lot of micro. Let the auto attacks take care of that. I hope you can hurry. Get out of here, we're gonna run, 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 run. Generate our health. Shot there, we'll get a pop shot, we'll clear this creep. What now? They lunch here. Pop shot. Ammo going. I don't know what this is. I was going to grab the easy camp, but I think Oops, stop this push here. We're going to grab. I hear you. And push this creep back here. Not even use my hook, which I almost regret. Uh, I don't want to get that. I don't want to get that down here. Let's get the tribute. Let's go. 
finish this. Yeah, it's kind of a shame I haven't used my longbow already yet, but I will end up using this for sure. Destroy this fort. Oh, Keep destroyed. But don't they look to stand down? Back. I probably want to fight them. I don't think I can take a hard game, a boss. I really don't. But I think I might try, just for the sake of it is possible. Is this real life? Make sure I keep my distance so my uh, AOE, my burning rage, doesn't trigger it. And uh, to grab the bolt. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's just all go right here. Everybody. We'll wait for our number three. Hopefully, he'll get here. Up, oh, we have won the game again. So, uh, I will apologize for my uh, lack of commentary. Uh, they are an extremely difficult character to play. And, uh, ooh, I didn't know if I even flashed my uh, damage. I meant to. Well, do it in the next one. So, yeah, just due to the difficulty. Maybe I'll do another and try with post commentary. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, since it was kind of bad, let me go over briefly what the build is. So for the level one, 
I'm generally going with Regeneration Master or Olaf the Stout. I'm still kind of up in arms which one's better. Olaf the Stout makes it easier to do the Merc Camps with Olaf and Balog at the beginning of the match. But it feels like uh, Viking Horde is better towards the end of the game. Uh, there could be uses for spy games, especially since I'm focused kind of heavy on Eric in the beginning. But really, I, I just don't like uh, sitting him there and laying and just have him do nothing. For the level 4, I go with Eric destroys enemy structure ammo. Definitely. I, I don't get anything else. Uh, this is the creep pushing on somebody's base can oftentimes be overlooked, especially in the early game. That's why this ability is so strong, at least right now. I don't know how many people are really picking this up, but this is an awesome talent. For level 7, I normally go with Eric heals himself as long as he's running. That way I can go in, hit a tower, snipe it, run out, heal up, hit the other tire, tower, and snipe it. And come back and kind of rinse and repeat until they're out of ammo. Uh, for the level 10, it's map situational. Cursed Hollow, that was my first time on that map actually with Vikings since I've had this build kind of figured out and kind of been able to somewhat micro them. Uh, Longboat long Raid is something that I could probably use on Cursed Hollow. Uh, Sky Temple would be another one that's really good for because on those maps they have objectives where the teams seem to group up. Uh, I guess Sky Temple a little less more so than Cursed Hollow since sometimes the objectives are split but then again if I'm going for the objective it's all the more reason in my opinion to pick it up because it does so much damage. It's kind of like uh, Nazebo's Vengeful Spirit with a shorter duration but hits harder in my opinion but it just adds hard when you consider the full duration possibilities. I mean, it can easily be a team wipe as long as it doesn't get uh, folks fired. And they stay in range, of course. For level 13, I go with uh, Hunk of Burning Olaf. The damage per second helps clear minion waves if I need to send Olaf in a lane to clear, if I need to split lane for any reason not get mercs whether if they're all taken or whatever this is uh, the talent to get in my opinion it makes him be able to have a lane presence and be worthwhile for level 16 I generally have been going all Vikings gain a shield um, I think it's the better especially since sometimes Depending on how much is going on, it can be hard to micro everything. So I have more confidence leaving Olaf and Balog by themselves, getting the mercs while I'm focusing more on Eric trying to destroy ammo. And then for level 20, uh, if I get the longboat raid, Ragnarok and Roll is the way to go. It, it really makes it that much better. Uh, the additional revive, I don't see as much value behind because I don't seem to die a lot when I've been playing it recently. Now that my micro's gotten a little bit better because I, I think people kind of ignore just one Viking or two Vikings when they see them. Unless, you know, I'm getting a Merc Camp or something of that sort. So if I go for the revive, then I usually go with Sequel. And that would be the finish of my build. I, I really don't have a name to put on it yet. I probably will by the time I get it uploaded in the video time. However, try the build. Try it out. Uh, one more thing of note I would say that makes playing the Vikings a lot easier for me is that I am not using a mouse and keyboard to play Heroes of the Storm. But I have a Logitech G13. And then for my mouse, I have a Razer Naga. So with that, with my Razer Naga, I don't have to worry about binding the one, two, three, and four. Well, more
more than that if you have a build that has more than that, but obviously I have 12 buttons on the side. So that leaves everything else open for my uh, Logitech G13. And uh, it makes microing so much easier for moths and Vikings, where it may not be as important for other heroes. So if the Lost Vikings are something that you would really like to really play and get focused on, uh, getting a setup similar would not hurt, let's say. So I hope you enjoy this game. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Until next time, all the best.